favorite of them, the Collins creatures. This is a wood frog that I saved from my pool skimmers, and I don't actually see wood frogs too often. This is the first one I've seen in years. I normally see green frogs with the occasional bullfrog or gray tree frog, so this is a real treat. And wood frogs have a very unique adaptation that allows them to survive in very cold environments. But I'll get to that later. The scientific name of the wood frog is Lithobates sylvaticus, which you may also see Rhina sylvatica. Wood frogs have a very broad distribution across North America, all the way up north to Alaska and Canada where they live in the boreal forests, down to the southern Appalachians with some isolated populations in the south and midwest. If you don't already know, a boreal forest is a forest that is very far up north that is dominated by coniferous trees and they have a very cold and long winter with very short growing seasons, which means that the wood frog is adapted to very cold environments and is actually one is actually the only frog that can be from that can be found in the arctic circle Wood frogs spend most of the time on the ground in woodlands, forests and swamps, ravines, and bogs. In the fall, they head upland to embed in mud and leaf litter to hibernate. They usually lay down to hibernate near breeding pools, so the migration once the spring comes is relatively short. This is especially important up north where the summers are very short. Wood frogs are typically brown, tan, or rust in color, and I actually think that he's kind of copper colored and he's kind of shimmering in the sunlight. They have pale bellies, uh, they have pale bellies that are usually white or cream colored, and around their eyes they have black markings which are known as a robber's mask, kind of like that of a raccoon. They range in size from two to three inches, with females being larger than males. This guy's around two inches, so he's probably a male or just not fully grown. There are dorsolateral lines, which are similar to that of the green frog that run from the back of its eyes along the side of its back. Wood frogs are diurnal, so they spend most of the time active during the day, and they also spend a lot of their time out of the water, except for mating time. They're one of the earliest frogs to breed, which makes sense considering their cold tolerance in northern habitats. As the snow melts, they're the first to emerge alongside the spring peeper, and around mating time, adults will congregate around breeding pools and males will emit a duck-like mating call. The females will then lay their eggs in these pools and will often lay their eggs around other wood frog eggs, creating giant egg masses. In the wild, wood frogs eat a bunch of small invertebrates like beetles, spiders, worms, millipedes, snails, and slugs. The final thing I have to talk about wood frogs is their very cool and unique adaptation that not very many amphibians have, and that is their ability to freeze themselves to tolerate very cold temperatures. Wood frogs can actually tolerate partial freezing of their body up to 60 or 70 percent. They do this by accumulating urea and glucose in their cells, which limit ice crystal formation and movement of water out of their cells. When frozen, wood frogs have no detectable vital signs, no heartbeat, breathing, blood circulation, muscle movement, or detectable brain activity. So they're practically dead, but they're not. When it warms up, they defrost and miraculously spring back to life. So we've gone to a part of our property with a lot of forest and a vernal pool right here, and I'm going to let him go. I think wood frogs are actually a really cool frog. Uh, I didn't expect him to look 
as cool as he did in the sun, like he looked like that metallic look. And the freeze, being able to freeze, them, freeze themselves is a ve very, very cool uh, adaptation that I think they have. So I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about wood frogs. I certainly learned a lot when researching for this video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see you on Collins Creatures. And if you can hear that in the background, that is probably a green frog somewhere by the pool.